I'd like to rip a sick U-turn. The car fully fishtails and flips. I stand dead center of the highway, <laughs> like, we're trying to like watching his motorcycle like move. <laughs> Johnny is over the handlebars. Johnny Spells is dead. Right motorcycle inventory, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, what say? You guys see that little car pulls up. Do you guys need a ride in town? Yeah, yeah. can we swing by the ice cream place again? Master, together, we will conquer this world of mortals and send their souls to hell. Uh, yes, yes, in due time, Mike. <laughs> now to the ice cream shop. <laughs>
You're saying that as if we don't live in a world where magic is Oh, real. okay, no, well, all right, I've just never experienced putting people inside of small balls. And you can put people inside of all <laughs> kinds of things. I just have never I threw up this. in your backpack yesterday. Yeah. Or today. Okay. This morning. <laughs> I mean, that's not the same. I feel like it's I'm trying to make that sound analogous. I think it's really so not. I'm a same. goblin. Yeah. Basrar uh, wends his way, <laughs> tornadoing, dust deviling through the fountain shop, uh, comes up with a whole bunch of ice creams and things. Ah, uh, my friends, welcome one and all, here you go. Can I get you anything else? Simply say the words and your wish is my command. I spike my milkshake. <laughs> that is not allowed in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, why, but... you, why could you not wait 30 seconds? Fine, fine, I'll wait. put it back and then I try and pour the milkshake <laughs> back into it. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Also, doesn't that flask have the... Friend spell cast on it. I keep almost <laughs> dosing myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I hope everything else is good. Uh, let me know if I can get you anything at all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Basra. Uh Yes, and can of I, course, yes. Can I do a perception check on this guy? Sure. I don't like his attitude. <laughs> <laughs> well, because he told you not to drink in his yeah. soda shop. Yeah, I don't know about him. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a 14. Uh, 14, uh, Basrar has a, I assume this is like an insight check, right? Not yeah, a perception. yeah, I want to get a read on this guy. Uh, he has a deep sadness about oh. him. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> what's up with you, man? <laughs> what? I am good, I am good. How's business? Business is great, uh, no overhead, because, of course, I can make all the ice cream in the world with wishes, so... What about what about the family life? How's that going? <laughs> Thank you so much for this ice cream. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so for the much. ice cream. Uh, so uh, hey, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I am starting a prayer chain. If you want to just fill out this card, uh, yeah. I'll add you to my prayer chain. I'll go ahead and make a persuasion check for me. Sure. <laughs> You're rolling a d12. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> you saw that too, but you couldn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a. Okay. That too. That's a two. <laughs> cool. You see, he goes, um, that is okay. I am a creature made of elements. The gods uh, are meaningless to me. When I die, my soul will turn into pure icy wind and my consciousness will evaporate and eventually my story will be gone forever. Yo, that is so metal. Oh. I tip him. <laughs> Hold on, what was that last part? Sorry? I'm gonna pray for you for all of that stuff. Uh, my story? Story will be gone really? forever? If you guys want any ice cream, you can come <laughs> up to the counter. Cool. Thank you, Basra. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. Yeah, very good, okay. And he's like, whoosh. <laughs> What's his story? Yeah, right? right? I know. His story. I know. So, but anyway, so like, I don't know anything about crystals, but maybe your AV club? Freaks will know something. Oh, I'm, oh can, can they see? hack these crystals? Kristen, can you see if the, if it's like evil or something, or if that's yeah, a friend yeah. that's in there? I'll do. Uh, I will cast. Uh, I have detect magic, and then I think I have. Can you just detect, detect evil? good and evil? Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll cast detect good and evil on this. Oh wait. Oh, take, okay. Didn't we already do that? I did detect magic, and that's how I saw that the girl was trapped oh, inside cool, of it. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. But I don't I think we just want to make sure this isn't a demon person that yes. is... Yes. Uh, yeah, I would love to not let a demon person <laughs> escape from a crystal. Cool. Unless it's really wrong. Yeah. Um, you go ahead and cast detect uh, good and evil on it. You detect neither alignment. Um, uh, the creature trapped within here either is obscured from your magic's vision, or it does not possess a powerful aura of either celestial or infernal magic. Mm. Okay. So it might just be a regular person. Can I investigate it? Sure, go for it. Cool. That is a 23. Um, you investigate it. It is a powerful piece of Arcanotech. It's been really banged up. Some powerful magic has occurred on this. You see that part of the sort of scratching and fracturing of the crystal is what's keeping the soul inside here, if that makes sense. Oh. It's like a fun house, right? So deep within all the cracks that have been created in the crystal, it's created something that has almost more holding capacity. It's like when someone jailbreaks a phone or if somebody yeah. were to go in and like 
you know, uh, but a magical version of that. Something has been done to this that has fucked with the original mechanisms that were supposed to keep the thing safe. Yeah, we that, need that AV okay. club. So we gotta get so yeah. this person out. This might be one of the missing girls. Yeah, sure. Uh, and if that's the case, maybe we should, uh, I don't know, put, give this to the police or someone someone more better suited to handle this. We, we're going to give, uh, what, a, uh, the possible soul of a girl to a bunch of nerds? Well, we don't, well, Why first are you of all, such a goodie? Yes, I'm not a goodie. Too. I don't want. To, we're, 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 what are we doing? I mean, we're all currently sitting in an ice cream shop covered in blood, <laughs> all right, with the soul of a person. Yeah, Maybe. and we're gonna uh, save it. You guys see that uh, Bud, the dad of the halfling family, speaks up and says, now the problem with going to the cops, of course. Is he sitting at the table? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you guys have forgotten that they're here, the whole halfling family oh, that drove God. you here in the car. Right. Uh, they're, they're actually, they're, they're called the Cubbies. It's the Cubby family. <laughs> Very um, cute. Uh, Bud Cubby speaks up and says, now the problem, of course, that you go to the cops is that um, you know, there's just no counting on them to do the right thing. And now there are some good cops, of course, but mostly police are enforcing the status quo, right? And that's mostly going to benefit the people who are already in power. Have you well, had personal experience with this? Uh, you see that his wife, Daisy, <laughs> speaks up and says, Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Listen, you know, uh, people get a real bad rap uh, from those uh, police officers. Uh, you know, halflings don't get the worst of it because we sort of have that model minority thing going on. But... We certainly aren't all, you know, people say halflings have, you know, sticky fingers. We get looked at when little trinkets go missing and stuff like that. So, you know. Do you send your kids to school? Oh, sure. Okay, good. Just The whole family it. goes to Mumple. We're all Mumple people. Oh, uh, cool, cool. Very great. great. Heard great, 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 great stuff. Great. What do you do? What is your job? What do I do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I work as a waitress over at Cram's. That's great. Cool. Oh, I live right near there. I'm uh, in there a lot whenever I'm fine with my mom. <laughs> You know, not so, you. Uh, you see that they sort of look at you and sort of make a sad face at each other and sort of patch your arm. You see Bud says, uh, and I'm a, a postal worker. I work for the post office. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> Can I do an inside check just to make sure they're not secret demons or something? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a what? That's an eight? I want to make. Yeah, I'll yeah go for it. Too. Everyone, go ahead and make it. Oh, I got a five. Oh, I got a nineteen plus Hell four. Yeah. Got I got a nat three. one. Jesus. You do not think that they're demons. Okay. Cool. okay. Um, you see, uh, you see, Bud says, "Yeah." Now the problem here is, of course, if you go to the uh, the cops, right, and you get a real snake, then all of a sudden he's going to get his buddies on the inside. They're going to hold that thin blue line there, and you're going to be in a whole heap and helping the trouble. Um, you guys are just so innocent, and everything you're saying just feels like it shouldn't come out of your mouth. <laughs> you see that uh, the, the Bud and Dace look at each other and say, "Listen, we're law-abiding citizens, all right? We don't belong to the thieves' guild. We're not any kind of, you know, nothing to be worried about." Uh, you see that uh, Bud says, "Now, what you could do is you could make an anonymous call to the cops, right? You get one of them to show up." And you bag him, right? Throw a sack over his head real quick. Yeah, we're not, I'm sorry, gonna, gonna, I think it's cool that these halflings are anarcho socialists. I think it's very cool. Yeah, that's what I'm definitely sitting here thinking. Sorry, you, are, you, are you suggesting. I'm not that advocating that you kill a cop, all right? Okay. I'm not advocating oh, that Lord. you put a pig down. I'm um, saying that's what right. you do. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, well, well I, I, my I, mother I is a cop, good sir. All right, well, you know. Uh, it's a Thank you so much for Thank these ice creams. The so, and for picking us up on the side yes. of the road. I kind of really agree with you, though. You see, <laughs> he looks over and he says, Well, I hope you kiddos enjoy the ice cream. That's on us, of course. No, yeah. no, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, sorry. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, have to, I don't mean to. I got to insist, all right? You guys flip that car, and I just want you to know that I'll be fucking dead in the ground before I say something to anybody. I right? <laughs> okay, appreciate that. Can I do yeah. an inside check on my ice cream? Because right now I feel like they might just have a little cyanide capsule in there. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think these guys are just ride no. or die. Yeah, yeah I think they're just die or die. 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 Okay. <laughs> Uh, do you have a need to go to the post office, sir? We will come to your window. Yeah, actually, it's great to know because perhaps someday we might need someone who's connected like you. All right, that's for sure. Take it down from the inside. All right, later, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, take it down from the inside. That was a wake-up call. I guess. <laughs> well, I feel like the AV club is maybe still the yeah, best. Yeah, I think we want to hang, hang on to this because we don't yeah. want it to just get yes. thrown yeah. into evidence. Oh, uh, Kristen, can you maybe do a... Detect good and evil on this warlock switchblade 
that seems to have a lot of it's terrible, evil. horrifying it's arcane power. Evil. Well, yes, here, I know, but just here, like... I'll do a detect evil. I grab it. Yep, it's evil. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not bitch about it. You're right. That so was funny. Uncalled for. You... I'm sorry. <laughs> so man. funny. I'm did sorry. you do? Did you do identify on the? I think you only did identify on. The... Oh yes, I only did it on the palimpsest. Gotcha. Cool. 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 Um, you should identify. Yeah, I'll it. cast. Uh, ritual. I will ritual cast identify on the switchblade then. Uh, cool. So you take ten minutes to start examining. You guys see sort of little <laughs> arcane runes. Don't steal my milkshake while I'm doing this. <laughs> I've already. I drank I, it. I, <laughs> I leave to go to the bathroom for a little while. Uh, you go to the bathroom. Um, uh, you come back. At the end of the, that ten minutes, um, you guys see that. Uh, uh, Ardine has looked down at the device and suddenly you hear, ah, yes, what we are looking at here is a switchblade comb. And you see that instead of a knife coming out, a little comb pops out. Oh, that's so much lamer. <laughs> this is the phylactery of Johnny Spells, also known as a pact boon. This magical item serves as a symbol of the promise made between Johnny Spells and his benefactor, the demonic <gasps> prince who granted him all of the power for his spell casting. Now, Ooh, is there any way that we can destroy it without releasing the demonic powers within it? I don't no, think. No, that... Adine, ask who, ask who his benefactor is. It might be my dad. Who's the benefactor? Isn't your dad another tiefling? Why would you? The... No, my dad's a demon. Oh, okay. We don't know how high up the chain he goes. The benefactor of this particular warlock's pact was Gorthalax the Insatiable, a fallen oh, angel, uh, originally an angel of Sol the Sun God, who fell during the reign and fall of Calvaxis, Emperor of the Red Waste. Oh, so it's one of yours. Whoa. I didn't tell you guys fallen. this, but uh, when I hid after the giant corn monster fight, mm -hmm. some of the cops were looking at the crime scene and they were talking about how uh, it wasn't arcane magic, that it was holy magic. <gasps> That oh. It must have been made by a fallen, fallen angel angels. or something like that. Oh, so this shit. is all starting to add up. However, there would have been certain taboos of behavior as a part of the pact made with Gorthalax the Insatiable, as well as a need to fulfill certain obligations in order to maintain a hold of the switchblade comb. This has been another use of the Identify spell. <laughs> the Identify spell is the lamest person. Does it yeah. just almost plug its Instagram at the end? There? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like a weird slug. <sighs> Wait, what, what was it that needed to be fed in? Is the Identify spell, can the Identify spell tell what had to be plugged into the switch comb in order to keep it going? Well, he couldn't fuck, right? Oh, he couldn't Clearly fuck. Clearly he couldn't fuck. Okay. So he, he's just a no fap guy. He's getting his power from no, no fap. He's getting his power from no yeah, fap, but maybe it ha also sure. has something to do with the missing girls because they're all right. in yeah. his little be. black book. He yeah. might have to offer up. He yeah. offers up the women that he wants yeah. to sleep with. So he wants to sleep with the women, and then he can't because he has to offer them. That a is sacrifice. so twisted. I'm also I really no hope fab. Orthodox isn't my daddy. Yeah, yeah. we know. Yeah. It's yeah. really we obvious. Just much. <laughs> Um, just feel like it. Should we go? Should yeah, we go? I guess we'll. I mean, it's it's the middle of the night. I mean, is, are we, can we go? To, it's the go AV to, Club. Let's go to bed. Let's yeah, go, let's, let's go, go, to go to AV bed. Club tomorrow. Yeah, cool. first thing tomorrow. I'll see you guys at the AV Club. Great. All right. Oh. Cool. Well, um, hey guys, like, look, I know, I know, I don't wear my heart on my sleeve. I know I'm like hard to read. I'm like a. Locked book no, we or get whatever. it. We just have like a lot of daddy issues. I know. Like, it's it's a lot of like completely out. I mean, <laughs> you're very on the surface yeah. about just, it. Yeah. I'm listening from halfway. <laughs> <laughs> the door is open. Yeah. One headphone on. I just want to say, like, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I thought you all fought like really valiantly, and like, I was like honored to uh, drive down the highway of life with you. Okay, bye, that's enough. I run away. <laughs> <laughs> Just from the soda fountain, yeah. run as fast as you can. Yeah. I, wait, I was going to say thank you, and then I agreed, and then I was glad we're friends. But, uh, you know. She's tearing off down the street. <laughs> oh, there she goes. She's gone. She's yeah. fast. Um, you see Basrar uh, comes over and says, uh, so I hope that everything has been wonderful this evening. We will be closing up soon. I noticed that your friend sprinted out of the ice cream yeah. shop, so I hope everything is okay. Can I ask you a magical question? I don't want to impose. 
Certainly, you can ask me anything. I will do my best. I want you to know, though, that if you are going to ask for a wish, I can grant any wish you want. It just has to be ice cream, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I've already had a lot of ice cream today. Okay. Um, Some people get really upset when you can't do non-ice cream things. What about if I wish for ice cream later? So at a certain point... I want to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just like... at some point in the I, next... I just get an ice cream. If you would like to wish for ice cream later at, at an undetermined time, yes, I can do that. Then uh, I would like to wish for us all to get ice cream later at an we undetermined time. We'll all time. get ice cream later at an undetermined time. <laughs> Make sure I'm in on that. Make sure I'm I in on that. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm not here. Uh, you see that a little of like frosty magic comes and circles around you as you run is down the street. Is this what friendship feels like? <laughs> uh, here's my secret. I was going to wish for ice cream anyway. Duh. Oh, that's very nice. I hope that's true. <laughs> and you see, whisk behind the bar, and you just hear deep sighs from the kitchen of the soda fountain. Uh -huh. No. Uh, cool. You guys head out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys head out the next day. You guys arrive back at school. It's day three. Ooh. Day um, three of school. Me meeting at the AV club? I'm Are we? Certainly no. going. Can I, before we go in, I have a present for, I have a present for Gorgug. Cool. What? You're out on the steps. People are arriving that morning. Hey, Gorgug, before we go in, because, you know, I, I can't be seen with you. Um... <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, remember, because I saw I, I guess I didn't out. think it meant you couldn't see me ever. Right, yeah. Okay, what? Well, um, I just thought it was really cool that you... I feel like you look really scared. Don't be scared. I'm not scared of... Okay, go for it. I just, you know, I, I liked that you were trying to sing. I think it's like the right direction that your, um, that your family members uh, want you to sing to channel your rage. Um, but I was thinking maybe it's like music is right, but the medium is wrong. So I got you um, some drumsticks. Just drumsticks? <laughs> yeah. Just to sing songs? No, I thought you could get into drumming. Oh. Okay. This is I've no never pressure. tried it. There's no pressure. Awesome. I just uh, wanted to yeah. give it to you. That's Thank all. Thank you. <laughs> like a. <laughs> Maybe you I'll, should take a you class or something. Yeah, All right, get, like, thank you. I just like keep walking like this. <laughs> you, don't to, you don't have to drum right now, man. You just you, you just put them make, in your back them pocket. Back pocket. And then it looks cool. People know you. You don't have to hold them like this for people to down. know that you have them. But I do have them. Yeah. If they. All right. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, uh, you guys walk into the halls of the Igford Adventuring Academy here, day three. Uh, you hear Vice Principal Goldenhorde come over the PA. Welcome, welcome back to day three here at the Igford Adventuring Academy. Nobody died yesterday, <laughs> so big plus as far as we're concerned. Let's keep it going, gang, and everyone enjoy your classes. Um, you he did murder yeah, someone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and a bunch of his yes. friends. <laughs> no I can't here, believe though. that nobody no didn't here. get in trouble for that. Oh yeah. Uh, he you just crashed a car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, you guys, uh, uh, you guys walk through the halls. Um, you see, uh, Gorga, you're going to your locker, um, and you see that there is a um, uh, a young woman uh, who's at the locker next to you. Um, you see that she's got sort of like hair like hanging bangs in front of her face and she's got like a sort of weird like sweater that's a little bit too big for her and she's got goat legs and a little pair of horns that come up. Uh, you see that she sort of uh, opens a locker next to yours um, and looks up at you and goes, oh, uh, cool, dr uh, cool drumsticks. Oh, uh, thank you. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna learn to play sometime soon. So I'd have them. Sick, that's cool. Yeah. You're one of the six kids who the the, the freaky thing happened to, right? You guys, uh, rumor started that like the six of you were in detention when that thing attacked? Can I make an insight? Yeah, yeah. go for it. 20. <laughs> um, you have never 
guessed correctly when somebody likes you before. Uh -huh. And you have some reason to believe that you might be a, a thimbleful cool to this person on this occasion. Oh, um, I mean, yeah, I guess that was us. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of crazy, I guess. <laughs> I like, start trying to go through my back, my, <laughs> do my combination on my locker. Uh, go ahead and give me a sleight of hand check. <laughs> Four plus one. You, uh, <laughs> as you were talking about how cool you are, you cannot get the combination to your locker open. Yeah, pretty um, wild day um, that was. Um, that's aw that's awesome. Um, if you ever, I don't know, like I am thinking about trying like the barbarian class at some point, but it's it seems like not like for me. I don't know or whatever. Yeah. What, what you were? What I'm? Well, okay. <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> I was a, I'm in a barbarian. I'm in a barbarian class. I'm a barbarian. Class. Really? Wow, that's yeah. awesome. I'm still figuring out. Yeah. <laughs> kind of what I'm gonna be. Totally. Um, Are you having trouble with that? I. Uh, I'm just playing with it. Can I make a bluff check? Yeah. Can I make a bluff check? <laughs> um, what is that? Uh, what would, which one would that would be? I, Sorry. Uh, deception. deception. Oh, I just a seven. Um, you see, uh, she looks at you and goes, oh, <laughs> rad. I play with the little locks, too. <laughs> yeah, it's just like being funny. <laughs> uh, you hear a voice behind you say, you know what's funny? And your head gets smashed into oh the locker. Oh, God. Um, no. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> you take... Uh, nine points of damage. Oh, God. Uh, and you see that Rog Barkrock is behind you and goes, that's what you get, you fucking freak! This kid's a fucking freak! Hangs out in the fucking parking lot and steals backpacks, dude! What do you fucking do, you jerk off in I it? You don't... fucking jerk off freak? I don't do that. Uh, I don't that's do you, that. That's you, dude. That's what uh, you're like. <laughs> I'm really mad, but that's okay. <laughs> Because this song is about being mad and not being fine. Uh, no. <laughs> you see that Rog trembles as he realizes that you just tried to sing at him, and all of his like bully neurons are like firing. He's almost having like a stroke as he <laughs> is like <laughs> realizes the opportunity that is presented to him. He looks at you and says, Did you just fucking I. This kid, fuck! And he grabs you. Um, <laughs> uh, he grabs you and hurls you across the hall uh, into the other lockers. <laughs> this guy fucking sings when he gets his ass kicked, dude. He's like a fucking. He's like a fucking jack in the box, dude. He, like you fucking hit him and he pops out and sings a fucking song. All right, I go into a real rage. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, you see that uh, Rog uh, uh, fully joins you and leaps you. Go ahead and make an opposed athletics check. Mm -hmm. uh, nat 20. Nat 20. Uh, you Second nat 20. What do you want to do to, uh, what do you want to do to, you, well, you're in a rage, so yeah, awesome. What do you want to do to Rog as a result of that nat 20? Use everything on Oh, him. I'm just going to, like, cartoonishly throw, like, spin him around <laughs> and throw him down the hallway. <laughs> Fucking pants him, dude. Uh, yeah. You fucking, woo, woo, shoo, he goes fucking flying as a bunch of students gather around. Uh, he lands, ass over tea kettle, looks up, bloody nose, and he goes, this guy's a fucking freak. He fucking threw me down the hallway. This guy's a fucking maniac. Are you man. crying? Dude, this guy fucking sucks. Fuck you, dude. And he gets up, runs off down the hall. Um, you see that, um, uh, <laughs> you look over, go ahead and make an insight check for me again. Uh, ooh, uh, I got a 19. Uh, Zelda, uh, the, not that you got her name yet, but the satyr girl looks terrified uh, and kind of backed up against the lockers. Oh, um, 
Uh, I can I come out of my rage? Sure. Okay. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I he made. I felt bad because he was being mean to me, and I it just I, I sometimes that happens when you're a bar, in a barbarian class. Uh, go ahead and make a persuasion check for me. Ooh, that is only. Uh, oh wait, nope. Zero. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Um, you see that she goes, sure, I get it. Um, later, and walks up down the hall. Bye! <laughs> Bye. Uh, the rest of you guys, uh, what do you guys do with your day? You guys want to go to the AV club? Sounds like the plan. Yeah, I'll come to the AV club. Uh, okay. Sure. Can I join them I feel at like the AV club? So socially, I'm in such a precarious position that I don't know if I do want to go to the AV club. But if the cool kids are going, I'll go. Well, don't worry, I'm going to stand outside of the door. Just yeah. Know, Look, see, I'm not. I don't want to be seen going into the AV <laughs> right. club. Right. If you Same guys want to, it's guess... pretty important that you guys are in with the cool kids. So you yeah. two, the rest of us are doomed. Let's face yeah. it. Yeah. Fine. Then will you let me table tap you in front of some cool <laughs> Fine. kids? Fine. Cool. Yeah. So... yeah. Why don't you both be pretending to carry me and push me in the lockers <laughs> yeah. as we go to the AV club? <laughs> I'll pretend to be a nerd. Yes, can I spin the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give me an athletics roll to spin the ball. <laughs> Uh, eight. eight. Um, you attempt to like Harlem Globetrotters, like get all the way around, and uh, uh, Riz uh, immediately falls off and uh, face plants on the ground. Um, you guys uh, basically just shame and humiliate Riz <laughs> on your way to the AV club. Um, but you all make it's your important. way there. It's yeah. uh, you get there. I'm sorry, it's necessary. <laughs> um, so you get there on like a little, basically like your lunch break. Ooh, um, I'm also, as we're walking, gra yanking on lockers in case any of the uh, locks are undone so I could open them. Uh, go ahead shit. and make an investigate check. That's going to be a 19. A 19? Damn. Yeah. Um, uh, you yank on a couple, um, you actually yank on one, and you see that it is, uh, Penelope Everpetal's locker. <gasps> oh, shit. Yep, we're gonna look in well, there. Well, you guys cover me, because if she comes, I can't get into shit with her. Do you wanna just throw me in her locker? Yes, I will pretend to be doing that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me an investigate check. Come in. Nat. I rolled a goddamn one. <laughs> on that one. Well, here's the thing. The place is, it's pretty spotless. Penelope's locker is like well-groomed, organized. What you do see that even a nat one will get you is that there are a lot of pictures of her in here um, with her like uh, uh, sort of like pastiched or collage with like her in like a beautiful gown, her in a thing of like roses and flowers, her with like a crown on her head. There's a thing of like Dane Blade's picture next to it and she's like kissing him. Um, you find one very old little crystalline like daguerreotype thing pressed up against the back of the locker, which is a picture of her in braces, uh, which does not fit with how stylish everything else is. And she's got an arm around Sam Nightingale, who's also like middle school aged in the picture. They both look like they're 10 or 11 years old. Can I see if there's anybody else in the picture? Like if something's blocking it or anything? Like uh, is it a collage? You are looking through to see if anything else is being blocked by it. Um, you guys start hanging out in front of it. You see Penelope starts walking up to her locker. Okay, um, I just loudly say to Fabian, shit, did you really see um, Johnny Spells outside earlier. Like I right did now? see Johnny Spells outside. Penelope, Johnny Spells is outside right now. Go ahead and give me a deception <laughs> roll. 16. 16? Nice. Uh, uh, 11. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> hold on. I'm going to take a picture of what I just rolled for later. I hope it's a one and not a twenty. <laughs> it's one or the other. I think a one is much more. It's a classic fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's such an interesting role. Okay. Uh, you see that she looks at you and says, "Oh my god, Johnny Spells is outside right now." Yeah, like some guy. Or we don't like. We don't really know. Him. We saw some Johnny's... guy on a motorcycle. Yeah. Um. Oh my god! Thank you guys so much for telling me. I super appreciate it. Um, and you see that she turns tail and runs out the uh, 
uh, runs out the other hallway. Knock, knock, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, the ball. <laughs> the ball. Uh, I try to see if there's any false walls or anything in there. You got nothing, baby, that nat one. All right, um, get out. Uh, cool, uh, you duck out. Um, I'm gonna need everyone here to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh so shit. shit, why? Am I there? Are we all there? Ooh, three. Uh, wait, plus two, five. 17. Nine. Oh, 10. 12. That's my wisdom Five. Side. Cool. Uh, 13. Uh, dope, that's it, we'll move on. Uh, you Shit. guys head oh. off, uh, you guys head off down the hall towards the AV club. Um, you guys arrive there. Once again, Arcanotech, little beakers going. Um, you guys see that Shelford, Scrank, and Biz are all here hanging out. Um, What's up, boys? Uh, you see that Shelford turns and looks at you and goes, Pfft. whatever. Uh, oh you God. see that Biz says, like guys, cool. uh, he says, oh, guys, what's up? Oh, welcome back. Oh, look, it's packed in here. That's nuts, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, Gorgug. Yeah, hi. Uh, can I, Riz, can I just like level you super quick? Yeah, sure, what's up, man? We kind of have like a, like a rep here at the school and if Gorgug's kind of hanging around. <laughs> what did we do? We did I'm excited to be here. This is like exactly what I wanted to do, I think. It's just kind of like maybe he, maybe like don't super bring him around all the time. All this stuff is so cool. I feel like he's kind of, I feel like if anything, he actually might fit in real well with like us. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe he would, but also like, what are the things is this? Like AV, we kind of like, ha of the like clubs at school, we kind of have like a bad boy mystique that kind of feeds into us. Cause like, it takes a lot of fucking skill to like work these machines and people kind of look at that and they're like, that's dope. Right. And if Gorgo's here, he's kind of like a freaky weirdo who like creeps on people and steals their stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Here's the thing about Gorgo though. He's got something really fucking cool that only me, you, and Gorgo can look at. You see that uh, he looks over and goes, oh. Uh, okay, yeah, if he's got if he's got dope stuff, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, you see, he says, can I show shelf for what is or should it just be us? Okay. I think it should probably just be us. Um, well, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill at the front of the door towards the tour wherever they're hanging out, almost like a bouncer. So like, if anyone else tries to come in, they gotta get past I'm me. I'm gonna go with you. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this stuff like sideways on the door. Uh -huh. and, like... and I'm just gonna play with a lighter. <laughs> awesome. Um, so you see that uh, uh, you, Biz, and Gorga go into a corner. Biz goes, hey, dude. Hey. <laughs> cool. So uh, my man Riz here tells me that you got some cool stuff to look at. Oh, yeah, totally. Hold on. And I pull out the palypsis. Palypsis? Palimpsest. palimpsest. I cannot help. It is a palimpsest. <laughs> <laughs> the ellipses. I got a palimpsest. It's a palimpsest. Uh, you see, uh, Biz looks at him and goes, holy moly, that thing's been beat to hell. What happened? What'd you guys do? I think, there's, I think there's something inside of it. And somebody's trying to make it more difficult for it to get out. Could you look at it and tell us what it is? This is what, like data or something? There's some like information or memories or dreams or something put in there? Um, Gorgug thinks there's like a person in there. Like, so <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you mean? Like a, like, like a prank? Like you guys um, pranked on somebody? Maybe it's like a prank. <laughs> okay, <laughs> why don't we go, hey, why don't we go to the dark room and we'll just take a look let's, and let's, let's just take a look. And we'll let's look at it. Let's crack a, I also we'll crack get in there because like I understand why this is happening to Gorgug, but also this is all of my work that Gorgug <laughs> for some reason is getting the credit for and I worked really hard to get all of this information. <laughs> you see, uh, uh, Biz <laughs> looks up at you uh, um, he, Biz has not really noticed you up until this moment, but as you sort of try to muscle into the dark room, he looks up and goes, oh, uh, uh, and you see that he flies on little pixie wings and gets a little like trilby hat 
and puts it on his head, and he goes, "Milady." Oh. <laughs> Bells. Oh. oh God! I couldn't wow. help but notice from your uh, accoutrement, but you bear the visage and resemblance of a spellcaster. Uh, our uh, birthright, you as a high elf and myself as a pixie, would see no. us. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, no. No. No to what? Just no. no? And I, I whisper in his ear, I think it would really impress her if you figured out what was up with this crystal. Dude, you are the number one wig man. <laughs> I get it. Uh, forgive me for being overly forward. Uh, the, uh, as the poets say, the heart wants uh, what looks good. <laughs> So the, hearts, it's, the heart wants. I just want to cast so many shitty spells on this dude, and I'm not going to because I know he can help us. But I'm <laughs> so skewed out. You just have a ray of sickness like at just your like, fingertip. Just like, like oh, I'm holding um, it in. So the three of you go in um, to the dark room with Biz. You two are at the door, which just leaves Fabian with Scrank and Shelf. <laughs> <laughs> can I just look over at Scrank? So. Do you eat worms? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, what? Do you? Uh, no, uh, but you know, I'm a. Um, what? I'm uh, a. Uh, Most, mostly I wouldn't eat worms. I eat uh, rabbits. Oh. Um, but also just like pizza. Oh. You know, just food. Wow. Incredible. I'm like a full person, dude. <laughs> uh huh. So do you uh, do you play? Do you play sports? Mm, I do. Yeah. Well, I should be. Uh, I could be. I'm. Yeah, they do. It, it's a sore subject. Uh, I play crystal sports. I'm sorry. I play like crystal sports. I'm sorry. Uh, I play crystal sports. What a, what a <laughs> you, is, it, is it like a ball game? Do you throw a crystal around? Or? Yeah. Well, no, you don't throw a crystal around. You throw a ball around in a crystal. So it's like all the strategy and tactics of like a like a real game, you know, like a like a sports game, but it's a, on a crystal. Uh huh. Oh, oh, that sounds that sounds delightful. <laughs> Shelford <laughs> looks up and goes. Uh. Don't mind Scrank. He fucking sucks. Oh, and you're you're what cool? <laughs> <laughs> fucking loser, dude. Who? Me? You? The Birdman? <laughs> what? Who are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we killed it. Great. We're good. Uh, we, we know what's going on. We know what's going on here. Uh, we go back uh, into the dark room um, where Biz, Riz, Gorgug, and Adine are gathered around. He takes a little sort of brass clamp that goes around to these four little sort of hook talon things that jam into the crystal. He turns on a little weird centrifuge engine and this crystalline blue energy fills up the palimpsest. <gasps> And you see a spectral form of Sam Nightingale, deep, deep within the crystal, reflected hundreds and hundreds of times over. Biz looks at it horrified, goes, oh my god, how did you guys get this? What did you guys do? I, I don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't want any. What is it? You see, he says, okay, look, there's, he sort of like, holds his eyebrow and goes, so, okay, every crystal, right, is logged with the Council of Chose. There's a special bureau of it that's dedicated to Arcano Tech safety, right? So every crystal is unique, right? And there's a way to kind of scry on it or find it if people do stuff with it, right? So this has been turned into a palimpsest, right? All that stuff's been scrubbed out. So a normal dream crystal is only capable of holding like certain amounts of data or information, right? Like textual information or it's able to run certain cantrips or run certain spells that have certain applications, right? So that most of the companies that buy and sell crystals, they have very limited use, right? But the dream crystal in its natural state is capable of holding vastly more information than just uh, sensory data, light, sound, things like that. A, a crystal can hold kind of anything. And 
I had sort of never seen it fully developed or tested, but it appears that this crystal is holding a uh, a soul. Well, so how do we get her out? Uh, well, I know how to like get like music off of like your mobile crystal onto your like home crystal. So you're useless? Is that what you're telling us? You're useless? <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, far from useless, uh, m'lady. I, uh, uh, I could, I could get her out. I could definitely get her out if you could, um... Definitely just don't kill her, but yeah, if you can get her no, out. No, I, I would, I, well, that's the thing, is there's no, uh... What do you think you could do to get her out? I would need, like, more... I would need like better equipment than what the school has. Where what place Yo. has better equipment? Than a high school AV club. <laughs> this is, I mean, my parents might have something. If you look, I won't lie to you. I think I can figure out how to do this, but doing it here feels really dangerous. Also, whoever did this is extremely dangerous. Did you, you guys, we are not the ones who did it? No, 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 no. Okay, do you mind telling me if you're trying to enlist me in a covert operation? Yes, you are a hacker. Yes, dude! <laughs> oh, fucking did it, dude, yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah! I mean, just to be clear, you're oh, not God, in I'm our adventuring so party. I'm a part He's of the team. You're not a part of He's the adventuring a hacker. party. Uh, He's a hacker. Seven of us versus the world! Nice! Yeah. He's a hacker. All of us. Uh, so okay, so I'm like your, I'm like the man, in, I'm like the man in the van, right? Like I'm your guy in the sky, kind there of. Like go. I'm like in over here, and we're like pow, 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 like. Yeah. Dude, this is so friggin' rules. This is so friggin' rules, dude. Right. Okay. So hacker. Hacker. Where do you think we could get equipment that would be better? Uh. Okay. I can get started with with what I have. Although I sh probably should do it on school property because weird stuff's been happening at the school, right? right? Right. So I can get started with what I have. If you guys could talk to like Gorgon's parents or uh, to see if they have any dream crystal equipment, I'm sure they do their tinkers, right? Yeah. Basically, Andy, I, what I really need is like a power source. I need like a machine because I can do a lot of the processes but I don't have enough juice like on my crystal at home. So. Any kind of power source you can get me is going to be like super helpful. What okay. kind of a power source? I don't know. Uh, any kind of arcade power source that is going to be strong enough to kind of like let me run a lot of very complex operations. I can like daisy chain a couple of crystals together, but at a certain point, like I'm going to blow the breaker at like my parents' house, and I'm going to get in trouble. I mean, do you have... this might be too dangerous, but I do have this warlock switch comb. Well, 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 milady. Does Don't, if you call me milady one more time, I will make you vomit in front of the coolest girl in school. Well, if you want to make me vomit in front of yourself, oh. that's your prerogative. Um, that was pretty I'd good. Go for right? it at this point. Right. Uh, you see, he says, uh, uh, yeah, it, that has enough juice in it that I can at least get started. I don't know if it will mess with it or not. It's possible that, you see, he looks at it and says, is that Johnny Spells switch comb? How do you know Johnny Spells? Uh, he's been coming to the school and dating people for like the whole time I've been here. That's so creepy. You need to yeah, he's like not great. He's like a bad guy. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. And it's always like, it's always like, yeah, of course girls are gonna go for like Johnny Spells because he like has a motorcycle and is like super in shape. But like, there's like nice guys who honestly like have a lot to offer that they would like never. I mean, oh, I hate that I'm gonna even tell you this, but like, I think that you feel like you have a lot to offer and please take this the right way. Sure. You don't. <laughs> Hard to see a great way to take that if I'm being <laughs> super honest. Like, what are you doing to work on yourself to make yourself more interesting and attractive? Uh, like, are you just thinking that women should, like, change themselves and lower their standards in order to date you? Oh, 
<laughs> I'm saying this to you now because like, like, wow. I, I really think it will help you even though it's very hurtful. It's like Siobhan didn't say vicious mockery, but I think she's casting <laughs> vicious mockery. <laughs> he, he sort of thinks for a second and goes, okay. Uh, well, I'll get started on doing this really dangerous thing for you guys. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I guess I'll take the switch code with the pal obsessed, and you guys just, I'm uh, sorry. I don't know if we should, I don't know if you, if, if we can just leave these with you. I think there's dangerous people who are maybe after this. Okay, do you guys. So maybe we should meet up with you after school. You guys hold on to it, hand out, hands out to me after school, yeah. and I'll get started. I'm sorry, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. I just didn't also want you to kid yourself. <laughs> I think you would actually get along really well with, you have a sister, right? I do have an older sister. She's very mean. Oh. I'm the nice one. <laughs> I don't think you would get along with my sister. You're the, you're the nice one? I'm the nice one. Well, here's the thing, I, uh, I, uh, I don't, won't lie, I have been cut down a peg or two in this social interlocution. However, See, here's the thing, interlocution. saying interlocution in say, instead of saying conversation, like, this is a part of the problem, dude. Do you have anything else about me that you'd like to be different than how it is? I'm not saying that you need to be different, I'm saying that, like, if it is what you want, a specific thing that is... <laughs> You know what? Thank you so much for doing this. Thing. You're a hacker, man. I'm the hacker, dude. I'm the hacker. Never forget that. At the end of the day, you're a hacker. <laughs> um, cool. Well, you guys out at the front, uh, you see that Vice Principal uh, Golden Horde walks up to you guys as you're hanging out. In Golden Rod. Hmm? Oh, uh, <laughs> Golden Horde. Golden Horde. Uh, hello, you two. Hi. Are you? In class right now, or kind of what's going on? Now I'm cutting to get your attention. Okay, <laughs> what's going on here? There's not a thing here. There's not a thing here. Uh, All right. It, I uh, I put my <laughs> combat boot like way up to tie my shoe, but it's like kind of <laughs> erotically positioned. I can't, I can't tell whether you're trying to be inappropriate or masquerading Doreen's final gift to you on this earth in front of me. But either way, Dude, it's inappropriate. I'm tying my shoes. Okay. Unless you're trying to take What's it there. What's going on here? There's not a right, bike! Go to class! And you see he scoots off down the hallway. I'm reading like a cool Christian book this whole time. That's like, like saxophone, Kit Kats, and reflection. <laughs> um, if you're looking, by the way, at the books that you guys got from the library, mm -hmm. uh, the People's History of Fallon L that you have been like paging through, uh, the Crusaders of the Church of Soul committed countless atrocities against different elves, like wood elves that lived on the outskirts of the forest, the Nightmare King. There were like invasions of Falunel by soldiers of the sun. Uh, it is like blowing your mind. Yeah, you cool, cool. Can I also have been using this time, you know how we got detention slips in uh, Golden Hordes? Uh, uh, presumably he wrote them, right? Yes. Can I be practicing his handwriting? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Go ahead and give me a like a pr proficiency like calligraphy check. It'll just be like a dexterity check. Dexterity. Okay, dexterity. Uh, okay, only eight. You're, you're, it's hard to get because he writes with a big claw hand, so you're, it's taking time to get it. I'll keep at it's it. It's chill, dude. I have a losery script. Um, I know, I'm but... also proficient in calligraphy. So. Um, oh, you are. <laughs> you guys leave the AV club that day, and the school rolls around, um, and outside, oh, who, do you guys all hang around to meet up with mm -hmm. uh, Biz? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, if we, if if we're, so first off, I want to put it out there that that switchblade could be a connection to <clears throat> my dad. dad. So I would prefer to go where the switchblade goes. I also think in general, maybe the switchblade should be with me. Um, just putting it out there. I would love that. I'll leave it up to the group because I don't know if I say this enough, but I really respect you guys. Okay, just oh. don't run away. We respect <laughs> you also. Yeah, you don't run away. Just stay here. Just stay. Just stay. Yeah. Just stay. Yeah. Don't cool. I, I stopped running away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but I would say that if if we're worried about someone coming after Biz, we could leave a couple thugs, myself included, to sort of 
staying guard with him. I think we him. should go with Biz wherever. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. You need to go to your parents though, right? Yeah. To get the Or should the we just stuff? bring Biz to your well, house? Well, oh yeah, maybe. Is this a power? I was confused. The was, power yeah. Is Would the power house source the... Power source uh, we can't go to my house. We could sneak around. I mean... It would be kind of fun. Uh, Wait, I thought we, the, the comb was a power source. Uh, you guys see that Biz walks up with like a little trench coat and a different trilby that looks sort of more. Oh god! Okay. This is the guy you're talking about. Yes, this is yes. we, we Riz, brought him Riz into is the is fold. learning so much about himself in this moment. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, look, we can go to my place, but you guys have to sneak in the back or like up into a. Do like, you have a like an window. extra whole house or something? I feel like. No, the house is just really big. Well, I, they would well, never give well, me. Well, well, well. Looks like our little clandestine meeting has arrived. Enchanté, mademoiselle. Enchanté. Oh my I look through my cantrips to see if there's anything that will shut him up. Uh, I'm trying not to say. Do you to be have the parcel? I think we're all going to go together. Yeah. To my h house. Is that where we're doing? I thought you needed a power source. I do need a power source. I hang out. I have like sort of my mom kind of lets me use like the whole basement. Okay. Okay. Should oh. we go get a power source and then meet him at his house? Yeah, or yeah. we have it. We have the this. This thing have might back. take a couple days, guys. Just as like a, a like heads up. Uh, Should yeah. we take off like trade out shifts so someone is always with? My mom's you? gone all the time. I can just sleep at his house. Okay. Yeah, dude, cool? sleep over, dude. Yeah, that'd be oh, that's awesome, Jesus. dude. Yes, <laughs> yes, dude. It's like I wanna, pr I wanna protect the items, but and I say this out of earshot of him, but I don't. <laughs> He's standing him. right there. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. You're not my vibe. I'm sure I I'm not. I understand. Either. Listen, in this game of shadows that oh. us in the intelligence community play, trust is at a premium. I understand that. I use message to cast to the other girls, do not leave me alone with this dude, please. <laughs> so very, very well. I have an auto uh, reply back that says, have a blessed day. <laughs> with a bunch of verses. I have an auto reply back that's some really emo lyrics. <laughs> uh, if I need to earn your trust, I understand that. You're more than welcome to come hang in my house. My mom always has snacks, and we're pretty much good to go. Uh, um, cool, another point of business. We got a phone number that we can call. Why don't we number. meet this we have a guy later? Too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Biz, why don't you get ready? We'll we'll be at your in your basement. I'll get ready. Um, uh, do you want, sh do you guys want to hold on to the stuff, or do you guys want me to get started? You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll hold, hold on, on to the stuff, stuff until we get to yours. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, awesome. We could um, just go to my house and get and try to find a power source. Which, yeah. Which of your also... houses would have a better like gnomes or elves? I mean, um, I don't know of any specific power sources, but I'm sure roll there's something, something cool. Would know. Yeah, would I we think have any clue? Each of you guys roll. Wait, your parents will like. Each of you guys roll an Arcana check to see if you have something uh, dope at your house. I got a three. Uh, oh. I got a thirteen. Also, Can I check for mine in case I have a cool power source for like my amps or something like that? Go for it. Mm. Also thirteen. Also thirteen. Cool. Seven. Uh, I would assume my. Mom no, would you guys probably don't have it. Uh, you got. You're not sure. It's it's a weird question. You guys have never considered it. It right. would be it would be like someone asking a high school student, like you know, what's the like, what's your fuse box like in your basement? It's like I don't. Fucking know. Do you guys just want to stop by I'll both just, houses and see I'll if go we to can... my house. I know it'll be easy at least to go to my house. Yeah, your house. I mean, at least your parents will probably yeah. help you. My house will have to sneak around. Do we want to go by Gorgug, see yeah. what we can get, and yeah. then go from there? I cool. think so. Cool. Yeah. En route, should we call this mysterious number from this yes, burner crystal? Can you it. pretend to be Johnny Spells? Yeah. You open the casing of the phone. Biz is already taken off. You open the casing of the phone. Um, you turn the phone on. Uh, the phone has not been activated yet. Okay, let's, uh, let's activate it. Um, you, it asks you to input the phone number and activation key. It's gotta be the one that we haven't used. So let's just do that because we might get messages on oh, it. Oh, yeah, So let's great. do it. Uh, you activate the phone and immediately an unknown number, uh, there's no context in the phone obviously, it goes ping. The text reads, Page didn't work. We need another one. Can we organize a meetup? Page didn't work. Didn't work. We Do need we another a... one. Well, there was a page in the there corn. Was, there was yeah. a page in the corn monster. We need another one. 
Okay, I'm gonna say yes, because I also stole a bunch of his clothing. I could straight up disguise myself as Johnny Spells, be mm -hmm. shrouded in shadow, and meet up with this person. Yes, uh, when you're texting back, make sure to use the word daddy over Yeah, I'm definitely going to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say things like jive. Um, okay, Emo we need another one, can we meet up? Emojis that are um, like uh, saxophones and stuff. Oh, yeah. No. No. Oh, the cool. dancing Do we know the name of his motorcycle? Did Because you have his motorcycle. I don't think it has a, did it, ha it didn't have a name. Okay. I'm just going to say, um, uh, I think that we should text back, like, sure thing, daddy-o, what time jives for you? Great. <laughs> Sounds just like him. <laughs> also, uh, and then I'll text and be like, Oh, yeah, no, 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 I, I'm not going to say anything else. Yeah, don't do a double text. Though. Yeah, that's so, too thirsty. Looks needy. Sure yeah. thing, daddy -o, what time jives for you? Um, you get an immediate response back, dot, 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 aren't you dead? <gasps> Fuck! I mean... I don't, I don't go anywhere near the keypad, so there's no dot, 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 like, to show I'm typing. Mm -hmm. Just going to take a second. Um, I, Can we take pictures with the, this thing? Can we take Screen pictures cap? with the crystal? Um, yeah, you can take pictures with it. Oh, yeah, let's make you look I like I don't Johnny think Spell. I should disguise yeah. myself okay, just yet. Yeah, I should save it for if I meet up with them. Well, do we want to lie Maybe and say... Maybe just say laying low for now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, things went awry laying uh, low or yeah. something like yeah. that. Things, uh, things got weird oh. laying low for now. What if um, you? What if we take a, an audio r clip of you revving your new bike to show that you're still alive. That might be more obvious. I don't know. Yeah. That still that is. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, good try, Kristen. <laughs> you know? Uh, Why didn't you just uh, talk? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, yes, if you'd be so kind, and make a, this is so weird to do over text, make a deception roll for me. I should have fucking leveled that up. 16. 16? 16. Um, you get a response back that says, okay, dot, dot, dot. Uh, so the person they buried at Cravencroft, that's not you. Um, maybe, maybe I'll just say like, fuck, should we say like, uh, I think we, we should just say like, I think we should just say, like, I can't go into it now or something. Yeah, it's just yeah. like it takes more than a few high schoolers to defeat me or something. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Not, no it was high schoolers. That might give them a yeah. clue. Oh, okay. Um, but I think you're on the I'm, right path. I mean, I've crashed my bike before. Or yeah, like, you know, yeah. Like, what if yeah. you just said, tell you later? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yes, I think it's just, more yeah, vague, like, more yeah. ambiguous. Too much. I was going to say, too well. much. Yeah, yeah. Daddy of the story. Too much. We have a problem with Sam. Oh, okay. Um... Daddy-o, uh, too much uh, for text. We have a problem with Sam. Make a deception check with advantage, if you'd be so kind. <sighs> Thank God. 20. Nice. Yes. Zero one. Very first. cool. No, four. What was it? Four. Oh. Um, uh, the response you get back is, um, no shit. Meet up at the pit instead of tea time. Ooh. So we know it'll be a Friday. At 10? Um, at, at the black pit? The yeah. pit instead of tea time. I forgot to do my... What's a, what's a good jive What's a good jive response? Just a saxophone. Um, yeah, just a, I send just a, a saxophone a emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you just send a, just a pure saxophone emoji? <laughs> we die because of this. Oh boy, 100%. oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> the illusion fades immediately. Yeah. Um, uh, but also say like like sweet, sweet, cool, um, uh, rad. Uh, uh, that exchange ends. Um, uh, what do you guys do after that? So this isn't tonight, right? No, it's gonna be a couple weeks. Oh, okay. Um, we can go to my. Yeah, house. let's go to your house. Yeah, we go to Gorgon's Can we all pile on the back of your bike? Yeah, how many? How many people can fit on the bike? Cool. Oh, you have your mom's car as well, right? Or no? I don't. No, no. I definitely want to go on the bike. Although it's really funny when Riz goes on the bike because the bike hates him. Also, 
It's a very recognizable bike, so riding it yeah. around town <laughs> may... Oh. Honestly, oh. you didn't ride it to school, did no, you? of course I rode it to school. What? It's a motorcycle what? that drives itself. Biz knew who Johnny Smells is. Okay. Biz knows who Johnny oh, right. Smells is. I added a pair of crossbones, to, and so it, it's very much my cool. own. Why don't you go ahead and drive that home, and then meet us at Gorgas? Hide it. I don't want to drive... <sighs> Fine. Uh, you drive your bike home. As you drive it home, um, you see that your um, uh, dad is having a bare knuckle boxing match with uh, one of his employees out in a little sort of sand patio. He looks over at you riding up on the bike, looks over, he's got like his shirt off, his one eye patch, he like, pops his tricorn on. So he's like old as hell, but still just like buff and wiry. He looks over and goes, really lad? What's that treasure you've set yourself astride on? Well, Papa, I bested a man in combat and took it as spoils. Ah, oh, be that then your first plunder. Tis, Father. Oh, my boy! He picks you up. <laughs> my darling boy! Oh, and, and how did you do it? How did you end the man oh, whose things were yours all along, but he never knew? Papa, it was incredible. One of our uh, other members of my party had tried to do an insane maneuver in the car that ended up at flipping, but me, because I'm so lithe and That's acrobatic, really I jumped, <laughs> landed perfectly, walked out into the center of the road, and then I aimed my crossbow right at his eyes as he rode at me on the motorcycle, and oh, I heard your voice in my head, and it was just, I missed the first shot completely, oh. the second one, dead on. It's a flare for the dramatic, is what it is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. You know, in my day, we called it a crew and not a party. It has changed. I'm, I'm old now. I don't get it. I'm yeah. old. I don't get it anymore. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's your time. It's your time to shine. And shine you will. Yes, Papa. Brighter than the sun in the sky. Yes, Papa. Everything in this world is yours, lad. Yes, Papa. My beautiful boy. Well, what do you think? What are the, the aesthetic here? Do we want it different? What do you want here? Well, I mean, we ha I mean, it actually would work out best uh, seeing as right now it looks too much like uh, the bike of that man, and I need to make it my own. Oh, you uh, need to fence it, you need to launder it, do you? Exactly. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking maybe I'd put a, put a couple of crossbones on it. I mean, it already has the skull, and maybe change the color to red. You, you know, need really. To some crossbones on Yeah. Uh, and oh, I was, well, we can get that done. We can get that done. <laughs> I, I was also thinking about na uh, naming it after uh, your ship. You'd like to name it after the hangman? Yes. What is the name of the ship? The hangman. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking about the uh, <laughs> hangman junior or uh, the second hangman. Uh, he says, the, the hangman is fine, lad. Ain't no confusing a motorcycle and a ship. Besides, <laughs> the hangman's got other sailing days behind her. The, the, the red hymen. He says, we'll, we'll get it done then, lad. We'll get it done and we'll... Hey, hey, uh, you done me proud, lad. Uh, what do we think? We, 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 uh, we'd like uh, w w w colors and all that. We'll, we'll, you know, I'll surprise you. I'll surprise you. Oh, thank you, Papa. Uh, skull and crossbones. That's my boy. Uh, now, how does this thing? You see that the skull flares up and goes, oh, Unhand me. I am my master's vessel. You see that, ah, uh, he goes, oh, look at that, ah, oh, seize me down, boy. Oh, it's wonderful, it speaks. Yes, it does, it's possessed, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm possessed with pride for my son. Oh, Papa. <laughs> All right, I'll get this fixed up in a jiff. We'll, we'll finish the boxing match later, boys. Now, you come on back home and by tomorrow, man, and it'll be all spick and span for you. Neat as a shiny new pen. All right, thank you, Papa. I actually I need to go. I'm going to meet my friends. Uh, we're up to no good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Now remember, friends are good. A crew's better. There is no one in this world more important than you. And if they ever cross you, you cross them first. Do you hear me? Yes, Papa. All right, my sweet boy. Let's get this motorcycle fixed up. Um, you see the thing? <laughs> um, uh, uh, he takes the motorcycle and walks off with it. Um, he gets a, a car ordered for you to go to Gorgogs. Your dad is gonna like die. This motorcycle is gonna kill yeah. him. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. Let's not even talk about it. that. All right. Um, uh, you guys arrive at the Thistle Spring Tree, where you see uh, Digby and Wilma are tinkering out in sort of like a little open work table out in the yard. You see, they look up at you guys approaching as you get out of the car. Well, bud. <laughs> hey, Mom. Well, well, what's going on, pal? Uh, well, I... Did you get banged up? You see this sort of lump on your head? 
Yeah, I, I, I hit my head on a locker because a guy was, well, a guy pushed my head into the locker. Oh, but are these people, do these, are these social workers? Or these they... are my friends. These uh, are... Hello, Mr. Thistlespring, Mrs. Thistlespring. My name is Adine Abenant. You see that they look at each other and they both shake your hand with both the little gnome hands wrapped around it. Well, golly, we got a real elf here. Look at, and I look at that orb and that book. Are you, are you a wizard, young lady? I am. Well, 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 golly, how about it? Uh, we're, 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 let's get so some. Cute. Uh, we'll get some, get some tea. Use lemonade. We have, we have pink lemonade. We have uh, rainbow lemonade. We actually, um, I don't know if we can hang out for super long, but sure. I, Dad, I was gonna ask you, do you? Um, would you... Ants you? on a log! And you see that they both oh, run into the tree. Oh shit, I love that Ants shit. Ants on a log. Yes. You know what ants on a log? Okay. I actually so brought tasty. some cornbread for everyone if you want some. You brought cornbread? I mm -hmm. don't want to be near corn really? anymore. Oh. Yeah, we're actually Why do you bake your corn. god? I... It's more just like a, a form of worship. Hey, dad? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but so they come out with a bunch of ants on a lot. They have like uh, lemonade and stuff. You guys all take a seat, sit, 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 okay. sit, sit. Thank uh, you so much. Now this is so exciting. You're, now you're all Gorgug's friends. Now you all go to Egg Fort. You do. Yep. Wow. <laughs> uh, we, met, we all met, you know. I'm uh, trying to start a band with Gorgug. She gave me drumsticks. A band? Let me see him. Well, I thought it was super chill that you guys taught him to sing. Well, you know what? I play the gnomish horn, and then I also play the ukulele. You see, uh, they they go get their instruments from inside. They have a bunch of instruments. They say, well, we should, I'm going to say it, because I think we're all thinking it, we should jam. I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, I whip hey, out my I, hey, that, I got to, I got to, unfortunately, we, we're we looking good, for something that's like a power source. Do you have any kind of power source? I'll tell you sources? about a power source. This little kiddo, when he was growing up, growth spur after growth spur, he was popping up all over the place. His limbs going everywhere. <gasps> We have pictures. And you see, they rush inside. <laughs> Dad, so cute. Dad. I've never this met is, anybody yeah, as cute as your really parents. Cool. I love they rush out with a huge cute. album so cute. of just like gnomish like leaves and a little binder, and it's just pictures of Gorgug and them. He's like a baby and is as big as like the two of them, and they've got their little arms around the giant half orc baby. This is Gorgug when we first. Uh, found him, all right? Now, he was, I'll tell you, he was hungry. He was a hungry guy. I've never seen a baby eat raw meat, and he ate it up by the handful. Wow, that's good. I still like raw meat. <laughs> Mrs. Thistlesbrick, uh, Fabian Seacaster, uh, son of Bill Seacaster. Fabian, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, we actually have a group project uh, that we need to be working on for school. Ah, yeah. Look at this, Wilma. We're getting in the way of academics, you see, Wilma says. <laughs> look at us. Well, we're not gonna, you're not going to fail on our account, I'll tell you that. Uh -huh. uh, well, what can we do to help? We need, that po we need a power source. Do you have any sort of bigger power, like something that's like a magical extra palace big? Source. Yeah. You watch both of these gnomes change from like exuberant that their son has friends into project-focused gnomes, and mm -hmm. you see that the dad says, "Okay, power source. Talk to me. What are we talking about here? We're talking about some kind of project. What are you trying to run? What kind of power source for a spell? Like a spell wow. engine? You're talking about some kind of helix matrix? What are we talk? You see that they both start changing into like curly pointed toed shoes that are like work curly pointed shoes. We're all taking a we're all taking a rogue elective class that's okay. about uh, breaking into people's phones. Okay. Uh, so we just need a power source that can like help us break into phones. Power yeah. source? Adine was gonna put me inside a phone and then she had to get me out. Break him out, yeah. So it's, it's sort of a magical rogue situation. Defensive magic type situation. Yeah. Done, 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 done. We got it. Oh, you see, they both rush right. inside. Wow. Um, they... Your parents are so nice. I'm so jealous. I love them. And I I'm... love them. My parents are so mean. I... It's really hard for me to lie. Oh, we gotta but... stop by my. We gotta stop by Galir. Just, 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 just be quiet. Eat these I'm gonna be just praying. Okay. Just um, fill your mouth with cornbread. Are those actual insects? <laughs> no, it's raisins. Oh, on peanut okay. Butter, so. I really I was, don't know what. You're so I, rich, you don't know what ants on a log I was, are. Like, like, this it, whole time, what? I was like, are these people eating insects? I was like, no, no, God. no, it's like an old dove. It's Honestly, like, you're a ridiculous snack person. On. What? A ridiculous Baby, person. what do you snack on? Kippers. <laughs> Kippers? Kippers? What is a kippers? Kippers? Like, what is a kippers? Like a caper? Uh, no, 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 no. Kippers. It's a smoked fish. It's a little, it's a small fish. Small oh, fish, very you expensive. Eat, it's very small fish. You get home, you just have some fish and milk. I'm sorry, what's a raisin?
Raisin, it's, a, it's like a grape that got old. That got tired. Well, why would you eat something like that? A tired old grape? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sounds disgusting. Like a grandma grape. It's like a Why grandma are you making grape. them sound so disgusting? They're good. Taste, it's just taste power it. Power source. Why are you being so we have that uh, they, <laughs> These gnomes rush out with like a bandolier of tiny crystals. They push a huge crystal in like a big like brass orrery. There's like an astrolabe with a bunch of crystals in it. One of them walks out and you see that there is this like screaming fire elemental inside of like a gilded orb like cage thing. Oh, so are you guys? Sorry, <laughs> so you guys did this? This would be for like this? an elemental engine. Now you have this over here. This would be for more like a dream crystal thing. Now oh, this the dream one... crystal thing. Okay, great. dream crystal, we'll put, you see they sort of kick the orb with the screaming <laughs> elemental and it kind of rolls away is a little okay? bit. Is he okay? Huh? He's is fine. He I put him off all the time. Oh yeah, he's fine, he's in there. <laughs> all right, okay. so, um, now. Uh, what we got here is, uh, 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 you see they pick up this big thing, this just huge spinning like crystal. You see that it's in multiple stages, like cylindrical stages that are spinning in different directions and hovering in the middle of a runed silver disc. Uh, and you see that uh, Wilma puts her little finger up under the point as it's hovering and lifts it, the whole giant thing up as it floats and lifts it over to you, Adine go. Uh, now, it doesn't take much to move that thing around. I recommend if you're move, if you're attaching things to it, try to move that around with a mage hand rather than using your finger. So you guys know how to put people on crystals, so you could just help us. What? They, we don't want to. I'm gonna I feel, pray. It's probably for, because it's for school, I don't think we should. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that would be yeah. cheating. That would be cheating. Yeah, we we're not going to get you guys in trouble by helping you out with this, are we? No. No, 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 no. no. We got to take this to our friend's house, though, who we're doing the project at. Yeah. Okay. His house. Well, we're glad to be your help. If you guys want to come back here, we'll get the sleeping bags out. We can get some popcorn. We can get some other snacks and stuff. We also, can... rain check on that jam session. I'm like so sad inside because I'm just realizing that other people's parents are like really nice to them. <laughs> I'm mortified. <laughs> I stand up too fast and I hit this like, I knock a light off the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> the light comes down. Ow. It puts like a Rube Goldberg machine into effect. Ah. It's like some eggs start cooking. Ah. Ah, looks like it's early breakfast. <laughs> That's okay. Is um. for some eggs? I would love to. Yeah. We gotta go. Oh, okay. Right. I think okay. we need to go. Okay. We gotta go. Uh, you guys head away from the Thistle Spring I tree. I hold their shoulder and I go, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're doing it wrong, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you guys come back. Hey, you see that as you guys are getting back into like this little ordered car, you see they both look at you, Gorgog, and go, great job, kiddo. You got it. they're great. Your friends are great. Great job, bud. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you guys take off in the car. You guys arrive at Biz's house. Very cookie cutter, little ticky tacky house, suburban house. You see that it is crazy on the inside though, because pixies have moved into like a human size house. So the furniture is all like multiple level. There's like double decker, like the living room has like a loft, which is like a separate like balcony living room above the main living room. So it's just this insane, because Biz is again about like a foot and a half, two feet tall. So <sighs> the house looks insane. I forgot that was the, um, that the guy who so was harassing me was- So are these guys gonna have to like crawl? Uh, yeah, you guys get there. Um, uh, you ring the doorbell, you see that Biz's mom answers. Um, you see she goes, uh, hello, uh, can I help you guys? Uh, I'm Riz. I believe your son, Biz, is expecting us. Oh my gosh, okay. Biz! Biz! I just Biz! Like we don't always have to lie. To He's downstairs on one second. I am Bubble. I am Bubble. 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 It's so nice to meet you. Bubble. Bubble. Yeah. Okay. No shoes! Okay, no, no shoes. shoes. Okay. okay, no shoes. You're not going to steal them, are you? <laughs> Beg your pardon? Oh, <laughs> you God. Steal what my... are you doing? Phoebe, I you so bad with him. him. Uh, you see that she goes I in. just take, I take Phoebe's shoes off. I do steal his shoes. Can I steal <laughs> <Yeah>. his shoes? <laughs> <laughs> what? That one. <laughs> what am I doing? Exactly. You step right on his hand as he's doing The fuck are you doing, the ball? <laughs> away, shoes away off. from my, I'll take my shoes off. <laughs> uh, uh, Biz comes up, Can sees, I just like untie my shoelaces? Yes. Okay. Uh, Biz comes up, uh, sees the huge crystal you guys are carrying, goes, oh boy, that'll do it, that'll do it. 
Uh, you want to bring that around to the backyard, and I'll hook it in through the uh, through the. You should go basement. around back. Yeah, if you just want to scoot around, because I don't think you can super fit. Inside Do you want to like house? hunker down? I don't want if anyone like drives by. I don't necessarily want them to see that you're here. Can I sort of case Why the joint? Why are you so mean to a friend? What? He's not being mean. He, he just doesn't want people to really see him. He's being really mean. I'm While this is happening, can I sort of case the joint? About. I want to like make sure no one's spying on us, following us, check. or anything like that. Okay. Twelve. But uh -huh. like a really full twelve. Um, <laughs> yeah, you don't notice anything like out of the ordinary. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, he says, I'm sorry. All right. If you want to move that around that back, I'll plug it in through and I'll take a look at it. But like you know, this is what I'm talking about, right? Like you, you think that you're a nice guy, but you've been so consistently really mean to my friend. Wait, are you being mean to me? Yeah, he's being really. Wait a minute. Mean That's not you. true. I've only been mean to people that I could be mean to and not catch shit for it. Yeah, you hate what you're saying, right? That didn't sound great as I said it. I heard it as I said it and realized that that was bad. Like people are dunking on you, and so you're dunking on the people below you? <laughs> right. Just no dunking. Just, Just like we have a no dunk, dunk zone. Within Nobody this is a no dunk zone. I'm sorry, dude. We have like a no dunk I dunk policy. policy. I wow. straight up, I slammed you dunked on me? I slammed on Todd yet. I had no idea. It's OK, man. OK. OK, if you want to bring it around that side, I'll hook it in. Uh, Riz, if you want to come in, you're good. Everyone else, you are free to come in. It's like a little, you might break some stuff. So if you don't want to come in, you don't have to, but. I'll be on bouncer duty again. Yeah, I'm just going to pace. I'm going to yeah, look watch like. The crystal. I'm going to pace around the, the house okay. like a German shepherd and just scare anyone away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to come inside. Okay, you come on in. Uh, you guys come but inside. I'm like full infernal mode. Biz takes it downstairs, hooks the crystal up to this little brass wire. Uh, he goes, Great. Uh, do you have the palimpsest? I shot down from the window. I have the palimpsest. Uh, well, <laughs> Mademoiselle, if I may, can I please have the palimpsest? Do you think <laughs> Mademoiselle is better than Milady? It's not. I'm sorry. I. Wow, she's I don't really think, trying to fix I'm him. I'm really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he snaps Everything's it in. Everything's a project. She with takes her. the palimpsest, <laughs> snaps it in. Um, Make some rolls real quick. Ugh, these faces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as he starts doing the crystal, you guys see a little <laughs> and a little smoke pops out of the palimpsest, and he goes, "Uh, okay, okay. I sh I need to be a lot more." Careful. Uh, well, what happened? Do what so. happened? I, uh, I, I, I messed, I messed something up a little bit. It's fine. Can we do an insight check to see if he's... Yeah, how bad oh. is it? Yeah, do an insight check. Nine. Oh, I got 14. a 15. 15. I got a 20. 20? But not now. He is uh, mortified. He, it, there's, there's a real threat to Sam if he fucks something up. Uh, his next role... Can I give him my 16 sure. for my portent? Mm -hmm. um, you give him the 16. He goes in, looks like he fixes something and says, Can we give him help? Yeah, you guys can help him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How can I help you, Biz? He looks at it and says, Here's the deal. Looking at this, there's a lot of danger here for Sam. I can, I think I can get her out. It's just going to take a while. If I do it fast, there's a chance it could go wrong. If I take my time, it's a, it's a certainty, right? Everything that I is is a potential for disaster is me trying to rush it. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 We have some uh, like passes, right? From uh, oh, bardic inspiration? Uh, or no, like the uh, the hall passes. I can write as a whole pass. Can we just like get you out of school tomorrow and work on this like nonstop? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cool. We should do that. Can I also we'll just, that. I'm just going to come in from outside. Um, I'm going to head back out there and continue pacing like a German shepherd, but real quick, mm -hmm. bardic inspiration. Um, okay. See, he says, uh, he says, thank you so much. Okay, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. So why did you wink, though? Well, she it's also how I winked. give. It's she winked I... me, you see, the other day. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh wow. Um, I felt the same thing. I'm going to go ahead, guys. Uh, 
and we're gonna move through a little period of downtime. Um, you guys effectively get biz set up. You guys forge some hall passes. He leaves school pretty much like every day or every other day to the point so that he doesn't fail to go home and work on getting Sam out of the palimpsest. Uh, you know, events happen, you guys get to third level where you're, you know, taking classes, you're learning stuff at the school, weeks pass, it's pretty uneventful. A4 Adventure Academy actually starts working, you guys start taking some more classes, um, you're learning your skills and things like that. Um, you take your trip that's that first Saturday with your mom um, to Cravencroft Cemetery to see your dad. When you're there, you should look for Johnny Spells' grave and see yeah. if there's any shit on there. Cool. Can I make a little investigate check? Oh boy. <laughs> Not been rolling well today. Two nat ones and a fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you see that there are uh, there is. Uh, other than the footprints that were originally around Johnny Spells, you see that there's some fresh graves of him and the greaser that got buried here. Uh, there are some fresh tracks that look like they visited a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, you do a sketch of the make and model of the shoe. Okay. Uh, okay. You can go ahead and put that in your inventory. Uh, they're like big, chunky combat boots uh, are the shoe print, but it looks like hardly, and they, like they haven't made that much of an imprint, if that makes sense. Interesting. Would I be able to tell if they were like tiefling or do they seem not like on normal? that investigate check? Okay, um, but you know that it was a big boot that didn't make a big impression. Got it. Um, dope. Uh, it gets to be the last Friday of the month. It's tea time, gang. Ooh. You guys arrive at the Black Pit, brick walls. You guys hear the thumping music from inside. This is downtown. This is in the seedy, across the river area. There's a lot going on down here. Uh, you see that there's a huge bouncer, this big human, kind of barbarian looking dude. Uh, thick beard, kind of rugged. He's got like a short sword and a long sword. Uh, he's hanging at the door. There's a line behind like a ratty velvet rope. Uh, the Black Pit is a music venue with multiple stages. There's multiple rooms going on. Different bands play here. The Black Pit is a divey, nasty, scary kind of place. I'm very, very scared, but I don't want to show it, but I am showing it. It is like, pretty scary in there, but uh, my church actually comes here a lot because this is a major hub for sex trafficking, so. Sex wow. trafficking? Couple of the, yeah, a couple of Jesus. the other kids uh, in the youth group and I would come here to like, I've you know, come here to people. so many concerts. I can't believe that there really? was sex trafficking. Oh yeah, it's, it's actually all over, it's an epidemic. Uh, so we just come here and uh, we wear like a black dot on our hands and then people know that they can talk to us. I've actually saved like a lot of lives. My church does a lot of good things. We're like pretty plugged in with like mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. that are wrong yeah. with society. Yeah. And, uh -huh. yeah, wow. Course. If you guys want to join the prayer chain, yeah. so still a prayer anyway, chain. Anyway, I think, right. so here's my thought, is I think that uh, I it would be awesome if we could all get in there somehow, but I think that we should, rather than me disguising myself as Johnny Spells and being in there, that's going to attract too much attention. I think we should go in there, text them and say, hey, I'm almost at the pit, are you here? And then we can potentially listen for the text to be received and then be like, cool, um, since everyone thinks I'm dead, I can't go in, do you wanna meet me out back? And then Ooh, we'll meet I him out back. Nice. Yeah. Then we can control the lighting. Yes, great. The control, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we dark, control yeah. the lighting and my disguise will be a little less obvious. Do we wanna case Hell the yeah. joint real quick? Like yeah. do a quick yeah. wrap around? Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, can let's I do, can I do a little sneak sneak? Cool, uh, go ahead and make a stealth and an investigation if you'd like. Okay. Uh, that's a 23 on stealth. Dope. And a 11 on investigation. Did you re-roll your, your daily thing? Yeah, I did. Uh, 11 on investigation? Cool. Um, uh, so investigation proves the Black Pit is in a huge row of what were once like warehouses and things like that. So the Black Pit doesn't have alleyways to either side and it's a huge, long, like, harbor yard block before there's another intersection. And then it goes all the way out, and you get a feeling there is no courtyard or back door. In other words, it's part of like, just a huge concrete block. The Black Pit might only have the one front entrance mm -hmm. from what you're investigating. 
Um, it seems like one of those like fire hazard, fucked up, no license places that's just. Got it. Does it so have there's a no alleys? No alleys that you guys can see. Let's just check out what inside looks like and, and, and come back outside in yeah. a couple minutes that if it seems great. crazy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's. Uh. Um, you guys get in line. You... Oh, no, no, no. Can we approach the bouncer? <laughs> You're gonna get us thrown out. Um, oh you approach God. the bouncer, big bearded guys with like red, kind of like red tawny beard. Got this stuff over, like sort of black leather duster. He's got this enormous fucking like wolf dog thing chewing on a bone. He's like scratching its head. Hey, brother, how's it going, man? How you doing? I'm well. Fabian Seacaster, son of Bill Seacaster. <sighs> Okay, man. Uh, how much? Just, he starts checking the list. Uh, we're probably not on there. Uh, how much for me and my friends to go inside? Go ahead and make a persuasion check if you need that kind of uh, Seven. So he says, how much for you and your friends to go inside? He says, I don't know, dude. How much for you to eat my crusty, hairy asshole out here? in the middle of the fucking street. You rich motherfuckers come down here. Mm -hmm. Fuck, how old are you? Does it matter? Yeah, legally. Uh, 23. You're 23 yes, years I'm old? Yes, I'm 23 years old. You're 23 Yes, years I'm old. 23 years old. Make a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 18. 18. Uh, uh, you see, he goes, Jesus, you look like a Fucking baby, dude. You need some living done. You know what I mean? You need to go out there and get some living done, dude. That's what we're trying to do tonight. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, okay, get in the fucking line, all right? You want to go in, you get in the fucking line. Dude, we're just honestly, honestly, he's got a lot of luck. I'm friends with him. He's a rich idiot, and I'm trying to get you a little something to keep your pocket warm. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. 19. Look, I appreciate it, all right? Look, and these guys, I don't get paid dick. I know, I'm a bouncer too. Make a deception check for me, please. What? <laughs> I got a 24. <laughs> you see, he looks up at you and goes, he goes, oh shit, you're a bouncer too? Wait, where? You don't bounce here, do you? No, nah, I uh, I bounce at um, I bounce. Wait, this isn't happening real time. I bounce. I bounce. Uh, I bounce at uh, uh, the, uh, the Dune Fort. Oh, you're hearing from the Dune Fort? Oh, you guys are just visiting. Yeah, that's why. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you a fucking hard time, oh, dude. Okay. Dude, yes. Elmville things work a little differently, dude. You understand? Oh, what I'm saying? Well, okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Right, you get it. Uh, I, ba I bounce at a metal bar. Red. Do you know fucking Pete? No, I don't know him. You don't know Pete? Did Pete say that he works there? Yeah, Pete told me that he worked there. Dude, I don't, and uh, Pete does not work there. Dude, that's, that's fucking he's fucking humiliated. full of shit, that's dude. That's fucking humiliating. I'm here to look for people who are caught in sex trafficking. <laughs> all right, My... you guys head on in. You guys all <laughs> head on in. <laughs> you guys just head on in. Does right. anybody nope, else? I'm good. You, see, you have to go to the depths he of says, the depths to find Hey, brother, me. help me out on your way in. What do you say? <laughs> 75? Yeah, I'll do it. That's an insane amount of money. You'll just give, you didn't even like that guy. That would like pay my rent for so long. Are you just buy my apartment? Is that your money? Uh, you see that this guy looks up and you see he looks down at his big, Jesus, sister, you just saved my fucking ass. Let me tell you something. See, he pets the guy. bouncer to another. See, he goes, Rover, Rover, we're taking you to the vet, buddy. Why are we awing? I paid for that dog to go to the vet. It's a good thing. Yeah, we're on. It's a good um, awe. Can I give can I give one of my bardic inspirations to the dog? <laughs> no, no, yes, no. <laughs> this is how we were before the corn episode, <laughs> and the corn yeah. babies this kicked our ass. He has an episode. I need to know that he's got an no. extra d6. Remember, mm. Adine used all her spells before we got into combat. That is on worth it, and I don't regret it. I will not worth regret it? this. Two yes. people died. Um, I hope you guys. You guys move through the uh, through the black pit. You come in. There's a little merch table. You see that all the merch up at the merch table, right as you come in through the door, um, is for 
DJ Brains. And you see that there's this weird undead fucking DJ. There's a bunch of like mixtapes and t-shirts and swag all over the fucking merch table. I just start ranting about how no one makes music anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, there's also uh, uh, a band here uh, called the Screwy Louies uh, that are playing in, in what they call the Moon Room. Um, uh, you see that uh, you walk past a coat check area. Um, through there, there's like a little like pool room. There's like there's people playing pool. There's a sort of whiskey bar. You guys are very aware that like there are adults here <laughs> that are drinking, and it's uh, scary. Um, you walk into the next room and you see a bunch of like humans and half elves and half orcs. And there's a band of this uh, sort of screwy Louis band. This uh, it's like mohawk and crazy hair. Just go 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 go. Just like scary. And they're just hurling into each other and hitting each other in this crazy mosh pit. I can't help it. I go mosh. <laughs> no fix. <laughs> uh, you jump in. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. Oh shit. Eleven. Um, you take uh, three points of damage. Um, as you do it, though, uh, you see that this big dude with a leather, uh, he's like a leather jacket with tons of like patches and it's torn up. He's got a big red mohawk, looks like a sort of half elf dude. Uh, he's the one who slugs you for uh, three points of damage. And as he looks over at you, he goes, Oh, hell yeah. I haven't seen you before. What's your deal? <laughs> Just punch me. I'm a bouncer from uh, <laughs> I'm a bouncer from the Doom Fort, and you just fucking punched me. Ah, right. You hey. better have some kind of healing on you. You see, he says, you know what? They have great healing here. Hey, let's get this chick a drink, huh? You and your friends? Yeah, please. Oh uh, yeah, can I have one dr drink that looks alcoholic but isn't? Um, you guys go to the next room. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it gets like a little bit more trancy in the next room. Uh, you get away from the punk vibe. And there's more of this like. So this place is huge. Huge, multiple like rooms, venues, stages. Uh, and there's a big, long bar, like a U-shaped bar. There's like weird mood lighting. You see people are like making out in like booths or at side tables Ew. nearby. Uh, you see that there are, um, uh, there's like a huge pitcher of what looks like a very dark sangria that someone's like pouring something into. You order your drink. Um, you see that the guy sluggy comes in with another person um, goes, Hey, uh, name's Mero. How's it going? It's good. He says, sorry for slugging you there, here. Uh, and you see that he puts the drink in front of you uh, and raises up a little shot glass himself. I don't usually accept drinks from strangers. Can I do like a perception check yeah, or something? Yeah, sure, go for it. Uh, 15? Uh, the bartender poured it right in front of you. Mm, this seems like a bad idea. So he says, um, is, it, is it a shot? It's a shot, yeah. Okay, I try, I do a thing where I look like I'm, I like turn, I'm like, thanks so much, dude. And then I throw it over my shoulder. It hits me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I just, I throw the thing over it so it looks like I chugged it. Uh, give me the sleight of hand. Oh, that's gonna be 22. <laughs> uh, it's gone. So he goes, oh, yeah, that's the good shit. All right. Yeah, you're a little badass, aren't you? Uh. Uh, you see, he says, all right, I'm gonna get back in there. Um, the bartender looks over at you and says, what would you like? Um, I would like a, uh, can you do something that has like a lime in it? So it looks like I'm not judging anyone, but I'm not drinking. <laughs> uh, you see that um, uh, the bartender says, okay. Uh, you hear a voice right behind you say, cute. Um, you turn around. There is a young woman, um, very like strong looking, like broad shouldered. She's got like like hiking like jean shorts and a shredded up t-shirt with like the sleeves cut off that has like a kind of three wolf moon shirt on it. Uh, and a little bit of hair in the middle of her eyebrows. Um, and she's got like the side shave and a short flop of hair to one side. Um, it's Cameron Esposito. <laughs> <laughs> um, but very like muscular and like hikey kind of looking. Um, you see that she uh, looks over at you and says, no alcohol? Oh no, I, uh, I know, I've known a lot of alcoholics. I do a lot of like outreach, so I just don't drink. 
Yeah, I can see it. You got your Bible shirt on in a bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see? Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> you see that uh, she looks over and says, um, listen, I don't like to get into it when I'm out drinking, but I fucking hate this band and my friends are all fucking dancing to it. So you know that like that book is like full of contradictions, right? Oh my it's... God. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know what, I'll be the first to say it. As a believer, I embrace the contradictions, and uh, I'm reading a lot about uh, the atrocities that my people committed. Uh, it's been a nightmare. You see, she I actually met God, and he sucked. You see, she looks at you, and you uh, make an insight check. <laughs> oh, nat one, baby! Oh, oh, oh. Um, you have no idea what's going on with this person. <laughs> she looks at you and uh, and goes, that's incredible. What do you mean you met God? I died. I was able to meet God. I asked him why there was suffering in the world that he supposedly created and uh, he said, catch you later. And uh, <sighs> It sucked, uh, but you know what? I, I'm gonna stick with this one until I find the next one. You know, you don't let go of a vine until you're holding on to another one, especially when it's this important to you. See, she says, <laughs> um, she says, that's the exact question I asked that made my parents throw me out. What? I asked, something really terrible happened to me I th or at least I thought it was terrible at the time, but it ended up being like one of the best things that ever happened to me. And I asked my parents why Soul would let that happen, and they kicked me out of the house. Oh my God, what happened? You don't have to share with me. By the way, I'm Kristen Applebee's. You see, she takes your hand, takes it, kisses it, and goes, I'm Tracker. Oh, hi Tracker. You have some marker on your lips now. This wasn't a permanent marker. It was, it was all I had was dry erase. <laughs> you see, she looks at you and says, um, "This is crazy. Do you want to like grab a drink here? It doesn't have to be alcoholic, and like go just like talk somewhere." Of course, I'm always down to talk to a new person uh, about God. <laughs> uh, she says, "We talk about God or like each other." Oh, cool. Yeah, God is in us all. <laughs> uh, uh, she walks away with you guys. Oh, what do the rest of you guys do? Oh, you see, there's one final room you guys have not gone into past the bar. I do want to quick ask the bartender what was that drink that they served that he gave me. Uh, you see... Uh, I said, hey, uh, what what gender is a bartender? Uh, woman. Hey, that guy just bought me a drink. I didn't trust it. I did the old throw it over my shoulder instead of drinking it. What was it that he bought me? Was it safe? You see, she looks at you and says, yeah, everything we serve here is safe. What did he get me? I think he got you a sangre and whiskey. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. Um, I'm just being buffeted by everybody, <laughs> and I'm just kind of standing there, like, overwhelmed <laughs> by everything. Should we see if there's somewhere that... I would uh, just like to find someone that's quiet. Should we investigate and yeah. see that's if there's a say, room that's yeah, where they great. Can we kind of cool. case the joint from the yeah. other side? Yeah, give me an investigate check. I have a plus Ooh, six, 11. and I haven't beaten like a nine today. Yeah. And it's not gonna be now, <laughs> 11. I also got, I got 11. 19. 19? Um, you guys spread out and start investigating. Um, uh, where do you guys think you are investigating? Do you guys, like, who's at the, who's like near the front, who's in the middle two rooms, and who goes into that final back room? I wanna go into that back room. Back room? I'll go with you. Back room, cool. Gorgug and Riz go into the back room. I'm just trying to honestly find somewhere quiet. Like I'm looking for people who seem shady, but everybody here seems shady to me. Cool. Maybe you like. I think you might like go near the front or something. There's a, the the room farthest from like the bands playing is probably the quietest. Great. Um, uh, and then I guess I'll go with them to that back room. Cool. Um, front. Front. Cool. Uh, two in the front, and then you're like in the middle talking to Tracker. Yeah. On, on a nat one, exactly how I was when I was religious. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> um, uh, Tracker, by the way, immediately puts a hand on your knee. Oh yeah, for just... sure. And again, that one, just like, God, they must really want to know. <laughs> All of that guy. Um, uh, you three go to the back room. Um, you guys see a huge dance floor with another bar over in the corner, some like VIP, big stage where DJ Brains is up there, who's like this like rail thin guy who's up there. <laughs> 
Um, and uh, go ahead and the three of you are in the back and make a perception check for me. Ooh, something okay. Eight. Eleven. A five. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven, what'd you get? I got an eight. Eight. Um, you guys look around. Uh, you're gonna have to go deeper into the room to notice something. Let's, can I be sneaky? Yeah, go ahead and make Hey. That 20. You are Ooh. invisible, baby. <laughs> you are invisible. You should um, go up to the so many with cool that people, stealth, that's like... I'm gonna say you get like all the way up to the other bar nearer to the stage. You look out into the dance floor and see Zane Dark Shadow, who was the kid who knocked the book out of your hand on day one, this like goth elf kid who has uh, a little rat on his shoulder and has created a light cantrip and is just like rave moving around dancing. He's just getting way into it. Um, uh, you see that uh, on his feet are a pair of giant combat boots. Okay. Um, can I, can I see him? Can I see him? This guy? Uh, yes, you can. I would like to turn the crystal on silent and then text um, OMW um, and, see, and see if anyone looks at their phone. You text that. Uh, I'm gonna need everyone here to make another perception check for me. And only those in the back room. Yep. <clears throat> 18. Uh, 11. 18. You look through the dance floor and as you send it, Zane's pocket lights up. Okay. Uh, I mean, I just, I think I just look at you guys and I go. Should we, uh, okay, I, I want to sneak back and join them. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you are about to sneak back and join them, you guys see that the DJ switches the track. Uh, and you hear one of those old dubstep things where it goes like, well, everybody, now that we're all up and about, it's time to rage. Cut over to the middle room. Tracker is talking to you, and she says, um, there's just like a lot um, that I feel like losing faith shakes up in you, but it also has so much to like offer you, and you can see things that you didn't see before, and you can feel things that maybe you didn't let yourself feel before. Whoa, yeah, that's so interesting. I feel like, you know, sometimes I take a break from praying for four hours every night, and uh, that's like every Tuesday, and with those four hours, I just end up doing great works. She leans forward and kisses you on the mouth. Duh! Oh! Actually, I don't kiss. Um, uh, you see that she suddenly uh, goes, uh, she goes to you and says, I. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I, I'm sorry. I know. I'm. I freaked out and I. I'm, 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 Looking throughout the bar, you see all over people hit the deck. Their clothes rend as their bodies start to change. You see that one of the people making out in a corner goes as two fangs come out of their head. And I'm gonna need everybody here to roll initiative. Oh, oh, we gotta yeah. take out that DJ. We gotta take out that DJ. Awesome. The beat drops. All of you draw weapons, and we'll start this battle next time on oh. Fantasy High. Oh. Oh. Rage. This room is filled with people hulking out into werewolves. Just ah. Sasha. Lord of Whispers calls for the blood hunt! The DJ has a rotting, necrotic face covered by a paltry illusion. How breakable does that glass look? Honestly, dude, pretty breakable. Oh, not one! This is insane. Oh, shit. The DC for contracting lycanthropy is 12. I'll tell you that right off the bat. The lower means... I'm a level. Go ahead and roll in the box of doom. All right, gang, that's it for today on Dimension 20. To watch the second half of this season and find out what happens to our intrepid heroes, merely go to dropout.tv and sign up for your free trial today. The mystery is not yet concluded, and dark forces conspire against our heroes. They need your aid. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
voices are hard. Inside. Ah, oh, not one. <laughs> With this side of the table. Yeah. Uh, Kristen, yeah. this guy is here to help you. 